So I've been rocking with Warframe for about 50 hours now, and this is actually what I think about the game so far. Right, Warframe. 50 hours in, what have I actually accomplished at this point? Seeing as this is a massive game, like, I don't know how to uh, put it in words, but this game is huge. And, and I mean actually huge, like it's not huge in a sense of like, oh wow, this is such a cool huge game, it's a hundred gigabytes. No, no, that's, that's definitely not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is the fact that the game isn't that big to download, actually, this is how big it is. And still, it feels like the world is never ending. I'm not actually joking to you, it feels like I've not done anything at all. Okay, what I have done is, realistically, fine. I've unlocked Vault, I've unlocked Mag, I have Excalibur because I started with Excalibur and then I have Rhino. Those are the four Warframes that I have unlocked and then for the weapons I got like, I don't know, six, maybe seven melee weapons. I got like five or something primaries or four primaries and like three secondaries. I, I, I think, I as far as my memory goes, that's about what I have. Uh, mods wise, I've, I've got pretty normal mods like the plus 120% uh, melee damage mods. I've got things like um, you know, toxin and lightning and I, I, I'm i trying, I'm not trying to, I'm starting to figure out like what the combinations of those mods are. So uh, I like playing with Corrosive because it's like a, as far as I understand and as far as the advice I've gone, you know, that people have been giving me, Corrosive is like an all-in-one type of like, it does pretty well against pretty much everything uh, type of mod, right? Okay. Second of all, I like using gas because gas apparently works pretty good against Grenier, which is awesome. So those are the two like main ones that I like to use. And then from there, I like to like use Berserker Fury to get my attack speed up just a little bit. Or uh, I don't know, there's like a few mods that I actually like. And even though I can't remember everything right now, like I do have it pretty much figured out at the point where I am at the game. But for now, at least, this is what I'm working with, all right? Any case, missions wise, where am I missions wise? 50 hours in. Well, I didn't use all 50 hours to like just focus on the main quests because otherwise I would have been, you know, pretty much further in the game. Not, not finished, not by a long shot, but at least further in the game. I haven't gone to, or gotten at least, to the second dream quest. So that's probably going to be my next big destination, right? I just, I just unlocked, I think, maybe Saturn. I think I just unlocked Saturn like in the previous stream and then I did like a few challenges and stuff like that. I I, I did the survivor challenge where I, I, I like to call it the rookie numbers challenge, right? Because I was a rookie and I used like zero mods basically and I went into survival on my own actually and I went for about 45 minutes so almost got to that golden hour. Just as a side note for you guys that actually know something about the game, I almost got to like an hour without any mods. Crazy. But that's basically where I am. That's that's basically where I am at the game. Initial thoughts. Do I like this game? Yes, I, I like this game a lot. If, if, if it just wasn't obvious, I really, really like the game. Up to a point where I actually haven't been playing Counter-Strike even, well, pretty much at all. Like I've played it a couple, like a handful of times in the couple of weeks. And yes, for those of you guys who've been watching this channel, for the past week or so that that shouldn't seem you know out of the ordinary but for you guys that have been here for a while you know that i play counter-strike a lot like really a lot and i don't anymore so that's probably something that um warframe took from me in any case i like the game it's a very cool game the cinematics amazing amazing cinematics the side quests very, very in-depth. Now, on surface level, this game looks really repetitive and in some cases, yes, it is. If you need to grind for specific parts, let's say you want to get the Nyx, I don't know, chassis for the for the Warframe, right? You're probably going to have to do the missions to drop for the like RNG and stuff. So it's, it's going to take a while. But overall, the side quests, like the actual side quests, uh, as, as well as the main quests and all the cinematics in between and all the like actual quests, those are amazing. They really thought it out. 
The sound design of this game is impeccable. The graphic design of this game is impeccable for something that's 11 years old. I mean, almost 12 years old right now. Like, the graphics is actually pretty good. Considering the fact that you don't want this to look as realistic as possible. Think about it that way. Like, you want this game to look as much of, like, as a game. Like, you want, you want it to feel like a game, right? You don't want it to feel like, oh, some, they're, they're trying to do something that they're not capable of doing. No, this is definitely not what the DE is doing. Like, what they're doing is they're creating a game for the sake of being a game, and they're doing it really well. Now, what I found out is the, like, the fact that they are actually doing this with an in-house engine. Now, for those of you guys who don't know what that means, first of all, an engine is the way they create a game. It's almost like a car, right? Like a car engine, but th this is for games. So without the engine, the game doesn't work. And that engine is almost like the mind of the game. It actually connects everything and makes everything work as intended, right? They develop... I keep hitting this thing, it's crazy. They developed their own in-house engine and it works surprisingly well for something that was designed in-house. On the other hand, is that surprising? No, because it's the same team that worked on like the Unreal uh, series along with Epic Games. So obviously that's not, you know, that surprising. They do have the experience to do all of this, but the fact is they, they packaged it together insanely well. Are there any bad things to say about the game? Which is probably my next thing that I should answer. Obviously, any game has its bad parts and has its good parts, right? This game doesn't have a lot of bad parts. Like, the, the, the stuff that I don't like about the game is very nuanced stuff. Like, let's say, for example, when you're trying to get specific items um, from, you know, killing hordes and hordes and hordes of enemies, uh, it's a little bit difficult to pinpoint exactly what you're getting and when you're getting that because it's very chaotic, especially in big, you know, like survival based or like defender based battles, right? So it is a little bit difficult. I would like to see something where you can like more easily see when there's like items laying around. On the other hand, as far as I know, there's mods for that and you can just pick it up automatically. So... I'm guessing they kind of like just that makes it kind of null and void but at the same time I want to actually be able to show all my friends hey you know what I found this um, item that is actually important that you were looking for but I can't really do that because I have to like actually keep an eye out all the time on everything that drops and how everything looks and how every like aura in the game looks I don't really want to do that a lot so I will I'll, I'll probably lean more towards the side of I want to actually see like a name above the item or like something actually saying hey there's there's something laying around there or something i don't know may maybe you can i don't know let me know in the comments down below um anything else that i don't really like i i don't think so to be honest like everything is pretty much like there's nothing really to complain about in the game right maybe the trader system all the scammers i haven't like dealt with any of them i've just heard about them so i'm guessing that's probably a problem Maybe, I, I don't know. I don't know. In any case, how long have you been playing Warframe? Uh, it's, it's something that I actually want to know because the people that I've met on this game has crazy, and I mean crazy amounts of hours, like seven and a half thousand hours in the game, which is just crazy. So let me know how many hours do you have in the game and is there actually anything that you don't like? In Warframe. That's something to think about, isn't it? In any case, if you want to see my actual like initial reaction to the game, like my like my first time just when I played it, initial reaction, go check out the video that you're seeing right here. This like this video is a banger. Okay now. Bye-bye.